Welcome back to my top 20 favorite animated films. We have gone on to the top 10, so I'll be going off of my favorite animated films from 10 to number 6. Next time I'll be doing the top 5, which is, you know, the big 5. Decided not to go with glasses today. I don't know. I guess I just felt like putting in my context. But regardless, we can finally go on to the top 10 favorite animated films. Uh, starting off with number 10 is Grave of the Fireflies. So, I had to go into some Japanese animation. It's become a market in itself. And if I didn't include any Japanese animation, what fan am I of animation without acknowledging the wonderful films that have come out of Japan? As a matter of fact, come out of Studio Ghibli. I feel that this is one of their stronger films. It's a very serious subject matter, almost biographical regarding the events after World War II in Japan. Uh, there's a lot of struggle in this film, and it's not really going to be a feel-good movie, but it's very dark, it's very sad, but I like movies that make you feel intentionally uncomfortable. For me, those films are really strong. At least they know what they're going for. Number nine is another Japanese animated film, a little movie called Akira. I am, of course, pronouncing it the right way. Everybody else calls it Akira, but I call it Akira. So Akira is one of the stronger Japanese animated movies. Sometimes it gets very violent, and I'm not going to underplay it. It gets really, really violent in this movie, but that doesn't exclude it from being good. It's kind of like one of those films like uh, Botsky or Scorsese where it's intentionally dark. Otherwise, I feel there's a lot of artistry in the film. I love the character of Tetsuo. And the fact that they're making a remake of this film shows that it's transcended what it's originally supposed to do. It's a very strong film to the point where it's almost become legendary, dare I'd say. Everybody knows about it. It was that one Japanese animated film that introduced the whole West to J Japanese animation. And honestly, very strong piece. Number eight, another Japanese animated film called Paprika. I, of course, really love this film. It is the movie that people claim is Inception before Inception even became a thing, even though I know for a fact that there are differences between the two. Maybe some influences have been taken from Paprika into Inception, but I feel like it owes itself more to the dreamlike imagery, so obviously if it's like Inception, somebody's going into dreams. And to me, this film is really strong because it features a lot of dreamlike imagery and the editing. The editing in this film is fantastic. As a matter of fact, I know the late director of this film was well known for his editing in his animated movies. And to me, it really shows what you can do in animation, get away with that you can't do in live action. And to me, Paprika is an example of that. Really love this film. For number seven, I'm going to be talking about a film called The Adventures of Prince Ahmed. This is notably the first animated film that's been on print, and the, a film prior to this has been lost, actually. There was a big film that came out about this first animated film that uh, from Argentina that was burned. But regardless of that, we have The Adventures of Prince Ahmed coming from Germany in the 1920s, directed by Lottie Reiniger. I, this is all featured in Shadow Puppets. That makes it very unique. Even to today, it's a very unique looking movie with a lot of artistry and just Shadow Puppets. It's a silent movie, so you can have those cue cards showing up. But, like I said, a lot of artistry, simple storytelling, and for the fact that this is made in the silent film days and it's this feature length movie, I feel like you owe yourself at least once in your lifetime to watch it. If you don't like it, I get it but at least appreciate where it's coming from. This is a very revolutionary animated film. Now, for number six, a little movie that Disney has made called Dumbo. Yes, I included Dumbo on my list. Pimi, I've done a presentation on this film. I'll link it below along with my review of Akira. I like Akira, it's a film I already reviewed. I talked about Dumbo in another video, actually for a presentation for my college, talking about how much I love this film and why it's so significant. Uh, Dumbo is a very significant animated film for its time. It was made on a very low budget and it perfected the Disney formula. Very well animated film, perfected the Disney formula. Is the crow scene racist? Yes. Does that stop this from being a good movie? Not really, but still should be acknowledged. It was kind of a product of its time. There's a lot of memorable moments in this film. The dream sequence Dumbo has, the characters, the songs, the quotes. Everything about this film was perfect. Love Dumbo. Had to include it. So, that was my list from uh, 10 to 6. If you like what you saw, comment below and subscribe to the channel. Uh, here's links to the other videos that I've made, so you can check those out as well. And the next time I do this vlog, I'll be going into the top five. Take care, everybody.